We are providing insight into tonight's election all night long. And there are some key races that we will be following, and many could change the balance of power in both Congress and the Minnesota legislature. Fox Science Tim Blotz joining us with Hamlin political science professor David Schultz to show what they are watching tonight. Yeah, I want to start with perhaps one of the most important local races that we have tonight, and that's going to be Senate District 45. So let me move over to that right now, where you can see obviously no vote totals coming Correct. in so far. But David, what we can can do here tonight once the vote totals do start coming in is we can compare them to how the candidates performed two years ago especially mm -hmm. Kathleen Falk who uh, who ran two years Correct. ago in the same seat Kelly Morrison obviously giving up the seat so she can run for Dean Phillips position in Congress, in Congress. but we can also go back to the last presidential year mm -hmm. and compare the votes then, right? right? So right. this is going to be a useful tool for us tonight. Now, when we get to president, obviously those votes won't start coming in for a while, but what we can do is look at individual counties all night long to see where the vote totals are coming in for president. And David, you want to give kind of an observation here to viewers tonight as the colors start filling in. Sure. If we think of red being at this point, Republican, blue being Democrat, 87 counties in Minnesota, don't be surprised if most of this map by the time it's done is going to look red. In the last few elections, with Amy Klobuchar as the yeah. exception, um, that Democrats are winning about 12 counties. You say, my gosh, how are they winning the state if they're only winning 12 counties? Well, they're winning the counties that count. They're winning places like Hennepin, Ramsey, Washington, Anoka counties, um, up to St. Louis County, up with Duluth area. Yeah. Just if you look at like the Twin Cities area right through here, if I can do it right here, yep. through, through this area here, this area through here is about 55% of the, of the population of the electorate. The Democrats do exceedingly well there. So our map in Minnesota, which is going to be mostly red, mm -hmm. it's going to look a lot like the map we're going to see across the United States, where the Democrats are going to do well in the cities and in the urban areas. Most of the United States is going to look red. But in those more densely populated areas, we're going to see the Democrats do well. So St. don't Louis be surprised. County also turns blue, too. So. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. As we do with a couple of counties up here, too. Yep. Yep. Yeah, all right. And then we're going to look at the balance of power in the Senate because right now, this is the U.S. Senate. That's right, right now, it's just a two seat majority here. Mm -hmm. But we will be able to go live all night long and see the changes as the vote totals come in. Yes. And we already know one. We already know West Virginia already has flipped at this point. Joe Manchin, a Democrat, has retired, and the gov Republican governor of West Virginia um, has run, and AP has already called it for them. So at this point, it's looking like the Republicans sort of maybe on the route of being able to mm -hmm. flip control of the U.S. Senate. There are 34 seats up Correct. for re-election tonight. The Democrats have to defend the majority of them. They're defending 23 of them, and it does not look like any of the seats that Republicans currently hold are as vulnerable as some of the seats mm -hmm. that Democrats have. So, for example, West Virginia has already yep. flipped. Montana is another possibility for the Republicans to pick up. There's also a possibility, although maybe slim, maybe Republicans can pick up Ohio from Sherwood Brown. I know some Democrats are hoping, hoping that they can pick up and flip Texas, oust Ted Cruz, hoping maybe in Florida. Long shots for both of them. But Florida, if I'm looking for one surprise, yeah. any one surprise tonight, Democrats might have a chance of being able to pick up Florida, although it's slim, because there's an amendment on the ballot there for protecting abortion rights. If they can drive voters to there mm -hmm. to vote so abortion rights and Democrat, maybe, but still a slim chance. All right. And we're also going to be watching the balance of power in the U.S. House tonight, too. So... Amy, or uh, I should say Kelsey and Randy, back to you guys. All right, that's a lot to digest, but yeah. God, I'm glad you guys are there. It's, uh, it's a lot to get through.